This series of lessons will be to show the equivalence of a regular polygon to a rectangle. And for this series, we'll use insets number 11, number 12, number 13, number 14, number 15, and number 16. We'll start this presentation by looking at these two insets. This is a regular pentagon. We call it a regular pentagon because it has five sides and all of its sides are equal. That's what makes it regular. And this regular pentagon with five equal sides is equivalent to the whole regular pentagon. This divided regular pentagon is divided into five equal triangles. And the base of each of the triangles is equal to the side of the regular pentagon. So for right now, we'll put these pentagons aside and move on to another regular polygon. So this is another regular polygon. This is a decagon, a regular decagon. A decagon has 10 sides and a regular decagon has 10 equal sides. And I can prove that by rotating the decagon in its frame. This regular decagon is equivalent to the whole regular decagon. It also has 10 equal sides. And as we saw with the pentagon, it's divided into 10 equal triangles. Each of these triangles has as its base the same length as a side of the decagon. So this is another regular polygon. This is inset number 15 and it's a rectangle. It's made up of a whole rectangle, which is, fills one half of the frame, and a rectangle that's divided into triangles which fill up the other half of the frame. So inset number 15 is, shows us two rectangles a whole rectangle and a rectangle that's divided into triangles. This is step two, showing the sensorial equivalence between the decagon and the rectangle. So these are all the pieces that made up this rectangle. And here are the 10 triangles that made up this decagon.
I'm taking the pieces from the rectangle and here I show that they fit into the frame of the decagon. I can take the pieces from the decagon and show that they fill the frame of the rectangle. Look right here. I have to exchange one of the triangles for the equivalent triangle divided into two pieces. The pieces of the decagon fill the frame of the rectangle. The pieces of the rectangle fill the frame of the decagon. They're equivalent figures. And the whole rectangle from this inset is equivalent to the divided rectangle from this inset and the divided decagon. So we'll continue to look at the sensorial equivalence of these figures. I'll take the whole decagon and the pieces of the divided rectangle So we see that there are two regular decagons filled up. And now, so the whole rectangle's frame is filled by the pieces of two whole regular decagons, two whole regular polygons. This is step three. I'll name the lines of these figures. So on the regular decagon, the regular polygon, there is this line all the way around the figure, which is called the perimeter. It's the sum of all the bases of these triangles. That's the perimeter. This is the, the base of one of these triangles. And then the line that goes from the midpoint of the base of the triangle to the center of the figure is called the apothem. This line shows the apothem, that distance. On the rectangle, if we look at the divided rectangle here, this is the base of that rectangle. And this distance is the height of the rectangle. We can also see it here. So on the rectangle, we have its base and its height, and on the decagon, we have its perimeter, its side, and the apothem. Step four, we'll make a statement of the equivalence of the lines in these figures. So let's look again at the perimeter of the decagon and see if we can find its equivalence to a line on the rectangle.
this line is the base of the rectangle and it's equivalent to half the perimeter of the decagon, of the regular polygon. So half the perimeter of the polygon is equal to the base of the rectangle. Remember this line, this distance called the apothem on the polygon? we can see here that the apothem of the polygon is equal to the height of the rectangle. Here's the height of the rectangle. Here's that distance called the apothem on the polygon. So we see that the base of the rectangle is equal to half the perimeter of the polygon and the height of the rectangle is equal to the apothem of the polygon.